Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. In this opportunity, we're going to talk about something that we have already discussed, that we have already tested, and that we have already proved to be very effective. We're going to use this computer, the CD 14-inch computer, X360 from Hewlett Packard. We're not going to talk about this product. We know it is a very good product, a very good computer. We're just going to improve it a lot and make it a lot faster. What we're going to do is we're just going to change the original hard drive that is installed or previously installed in this computer for one of these uh, SSD drives, ADATA, an SSD drive that you can get for around $60. Uh, they are getting a lot cheaper, of course, uh, $60 or $70, you get them in Amazon. Uh, we're going to remove these protector pads at the bottom of the computer to find the hidden screws that normally come uh, at the bottom of these computers. We're going to proceed to disassemble and remove the bottom cover of the computer very, very carefully. Okay. Uh, basically, what we're going to use is a Phillips screwdriver, one of these uh, plastic separators, and maybe one uh, of these uh, cutters, paper cutters. So we proceed to loosen the screws. Uh, this computer uh, has around six, has exactly six screwdriver, uh, six screws in the bottom of the computer. Once you remove the screws, you're gonna have to be very careful separating the bottom cover with these plastic separators or you can use a guitar pick. So you can have access to the bottom of the computer. Be very careful to do it in a very um, precise uh, vertical motion. You don't want to bend any of that. This is the hard drive. Um, we also have right here access to the memory modules. We have to be very careful with this also. If you want to, to upgrade the memory, you will have to remove this cover, this uh, electro shield, or this is static shield better, this is static shield in order to gain access to the memory. Once you have access to the memory, you can replace it with the new modules or just add the additional one as we did in this computer. You have to be very careful to place it back right where it was, and we're going to remove the hard drive that in this case comes just um, floating over this um, rubber pads. This is the hard drive and this one is the protector. We're going to proceed to remove uh, the, the, the rubber protector. And we have to be very careful with this little connector connection band. This connection band uh, is attached to the SATA interface of the hard drive. You remove it, it is, an adhesive, it is an adhesive band. And very carefully with a plastic separator, you're going to disassemble the old hard drive. You're going to also have to remove this uh, protective shield. This protective shield, this protective shield is not something that you have to uh, take lightly. It's uh, very important and it is also going to protect the new hard drive. We're going to proceed to clone these hard drives using this device, this device that you can get for around 50 bucks in Amazon. Mm, we're not going to use the clone key directly. We could do it, but we, we would have to use a source disk that is smaller than the target disk. Instead of that, we're going to use ESOS Partition Master, uh, the free edition that is free for mm, anyone who wants to use it and doesn't have any commercial um, goal. Once we click on the hard drive uh, that we want to clone and it starts analyzing its surface, we're going to need to wait for a few minutes in order for it to complete. It's a process that takes around uh, one or two minutes depending on the speed of the drive or the speed of the interface. This device connects to the main computer through a USB 3.0 uh, interface. Once it finishes reading the, the source drive, we're going to click on next. We're going to choose our destination hard drive. The destination hard drive, be very careful with this step uh, right here. I choose it because I know that it is connected to the USB 
right here we have to play a little bit I have to tell you ESA's partition master does not have the greatest interface for managing this um, or editing the size of the destination partitions okay so you have to play a little bit right here you don't know when to let go the mouse or the click uh, but once you find it and you once you try enough you're going to find out that it is a very easy procedure the procedure itself not how to do it graphically and once we make it finally we're going to click on okay we're going to click to the next we're going to go to the next step which is actually the cloning process okay so this device this this is going to click into the other one we click on the okay and next step and click on yes and if, if your interface is in english my interface is in spanish um, and we're going just to go with that um, this is a process that in my case it took around 15 minutes those 15 minutes can be maybe faster if you connect the the, the source and destination disk di directly to the um, to the SATA interface of your motherboard right here you can see the cloning process on screen is not gonna look like it is actually advancing it is gonna look like it is stuck at 70 percent 35 percent and then at 75 percent but it didn't matter it was working it took around 16 minutes to complete and the process was just flawless uh, you're going to see right here that at the end it's going to start moving the bars and once you finish ESA's partition master is going to refresh the partitions that are connected to this computer and that's all for the cloning process once you place again the hard drive over here you're going to just go backwards of what we did earlier we're going to connect the SATA interface to the motherboard the electro shield protector right here the electronic or shield protector over here very simple then you're going to then you're going to place again right here this rubber protection that is going to you can also replace them just by uh, adhesive tape place it over here connect the SATA interface to the motherboard this is the most important operation as this may make you disassemble again the computer we're just going to um, uh, place the the bottom cover of the computer again without screwing it back on we are um, going to turn on the computer to see if our procedure worked we just turn on the computer and this is a process so you don't lose time in case that something was lo uh, was not connected right to the motherboard and i think that right here the video speaks for itself this is what you're going to get if you change your computer's hard drive from the traditional uh, hard drive to the solid state hard drive let's make a complete reboot so you can see exactly what you're gaining out of the change of your hard drive of the computer and you're going to see that we are not speeding up this process we don't have any intent to do that we just want to show you um, what you're gonna get in case that you decide to go with SSDs and that's all guys uh, I hope this video was of any help to you if you are an enthusiast of computers if you like technology if you want your computer to be back on uh, if you make presentations if you travel a lot and you just turn on turn off the computer you need it back on Windows right as soon as you have it open this is what you need you need an SSD drive do not hesitate on buying it go and get it uh, it is a very small investment and a very very big benefit that you're going to get out of it okay thank you very much for watching and see you next time